and welcome to another edition of ChatWSmith.com. I'm your host, Chad W. Smith, and I've got something to say, and I'd like to say this is a $60 Windows tablet. You heard me right, a $60 Windows tablet. I got this at Micro Center for $59.99, plus tax, of course, but look at this. It is a Windows tablet with Windows 8.1 for only $59. Let's see what all you get. It's got a quad-core Intel Atom processor, 60, 16 gigabytes of storage, 1 gigabyte of RAM, Office 365 for a year. That in and of itself is worth more than $60. It's got a front and rear facing camera, HDMI out, wireless in, Bluetooth 4.0, and a 5 point capacitive touchscreen display at 1280 by 800. So that is what this is. It's a WinBook 7 inch TW700 is the name of it. There you can see all the specs. Close up on this you see the front and rear facing camera. The micro USB port, the full size USB 2.0 port, the mic headphone jack, the micro SD card slot, built in microphone, the stereo speakers, and all that other fun stuff. But you don't want to see the box, you want to see what is inside. So here we go. First things first, right to the main event, here's the tablet. We'll set that aside for now. We also do in unboxing stuff. Here's a little uh, power adapter thing, USB of course, and the plastic wrap for no reason. Here's the USB cable. So not much in the way of peripherals, but let's look at the tablet. Now I'm going to pause it and unwrap it, and then we'll get you a better look at it. I entered my information, my Microsoft username and password, and my time zone, and my favorite color, and all that kind of stuff. Favorite color is to theme Windows 8. And now it is installing my new apps from the App Store. So apparently they were not pre-installed, which probably saves time on their end, and also makes sure that you get the newest apps as soon as you log in. However, the problem with that is if you're not immediately online when you are powering this thing up, then I guess you're stuck with whatever comes pre-installed. But the process has been pretty smooth so far. The touchscreen seems very responsive. As you can see, my favorite color that I picked here is green. If you've been to my blog, you probably picked up on that. It's telling me what day it is, what time, and you can see it's got Skype, maps. This thing does have GPS, I believe. Uh, it's got OneDrive, and it's telling me what the temperature is in Washington, D.C. for some reason. And let's see. There we go. All right, let's go to the desktop. There we go. And the only thing on there is a pogo plug back up and I protect my new PC. And that's it. Let's uh, go to Internet Explorer and see what happens. MSN. Let's go ahead and use recommended settings. Set that up later. Seems to be responding pretty well. Of course, there's no app blocks installed. What the heck? <laughs> uh, that was a neat ad. All right, so. As you can see, it's pretty responsive, up and down. Not bad for 60 bucks. Let's 
see what else we can get into. Let's go to the store. Ah. It's telling me how to get to the start menu. I see. I've never used Windows 8 before, so that was helpful. Music, Frozen, wow. This green seems pretty good, even from different angles. Still see it pretty well. Any distortion, I think, is probably from my camera trying to zoom in. So, yeah. So far, I would say this is a pretty good deal. Get a Windows machine for 60 bucks, and it's portable, lightweight, and let me show you the different ports and stuff. There's that full-sized USB port next to the micro USB port. There's an SD card slot, and HDMI, or maybe this is the HDMI, and that's the uh, US, micro USB. And there's buttons on the side, the power button, the volume rocker, and I believe that's lock. And as you can see, it does change angles when you move it around. Nothing on the side. Nothing on the side. There's your camera and your two speakers. So there's that. There's the wind book. Enjoy.